Let's bring in Jack Jupin, retired supervisor of the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force and the FBI's SWAT team and president and CEO of Jupin International. Jack, good to have you uh, with us today. Obviously, this is a terrifying situation. He is on the loose. You've got colleges in both of these towns, Bates College, Bowdoin, Co Bowdoin College, um, been around since the late 1700s, early 1800s. This is a very historic area, Booth Bay Harbor, as Nate mentioned. But there is a killer on the loose in this, you know, otherwise beautiful part of the country rocking this community. What is your take at this hour? Yeah, it's an unfortunate situation because he's got a little bit of a head start on everybody, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, as you noted, Martha, that his uh, vehicle was found right near a boat ramp. I know for a fact that uh, the suspect here has multiple watercraft registered to him. Um, another thing that I have noted that I did on my own was I looked at his Facebook, but I also looked at his TikTok. Uh, he had multiple videos that he had posted that allegedly are his. The videos have been taken down, but the audio is still there. And the audio basically states that the United States government and the army has ruined his life and that he's going to make a spectacular event and get back and pay back the U.S. for what they've done to him. It, obviously, um, he's in emotional mental distress. He was in a hospital for two weeks and he had complained to somebody who has passed this along, who was close to him, apparently, that he had been hearing voices. Obviously, this is a huge concern. The laws in Maine yeah. do not prevent him from having uh, an automatic weapon, an AR-15 like weapon, it appears in that. Can you clarify that for us? Yeah, and an AR-15 is my understanding, is, which is an automatic rifle, as you said. Mm -hmm. um, but it still is a, a breakdown in the system because he did have mental health issues, and the United States military was aware of that. Um, he did voice his opinion to several people that he was hearing voices, as you mentioned, and that he was going to shoot up uh, I mean, the What base. more do they need, Jack? <laughs> why I, why I, can't I, someone you know, like this be under supervision or, you know, yeah hospitalized until they can figure out what's going on. 100%. And, you know, the United States government should have taken away his weapons, I believe, at that point in time, especially if it was them who actually pushed him to go see treatment. Uh, you know, normal treatment, if you're under suicide watch, it's, a, it's about 72 hours. He stayed two weeks. That's an extremely long time, and I'm not a mental health professional, but that's an extremely long time for somebody who's talking about committing mass murder. And if you listen to his TikTok videos and in the audio of those, you know, he continually says TikTok took him down and his voice is going to be heard. Mm. And he said that several times on several different videos, and it's very disturbing to hear what he's saying. And if you have a chance to hear them, they're still up from my understanding, and they're attributed to him. Now, I can't see him. I don't know for a fact, cannot yeah. confirm it's him, but it is It is attributed to him that it is his voice okay. and it is him stating this. Well, hopefully they can bring this guy in uh, very soon. It is a horrific, horrific case, and we've seen cases like this before. There was a church case in the South of someone who had uh, his gun, I believe, taken away from the military um, and came mm -hmm. back in a similar situation. So thank you, Jack. Good to have you here. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.